Welcome homesteaders, kitchen witches, and anybody who thinks that a warm cup of tea can cure just about anything. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a couple different ways of mixing teas uh, for medicinal purposes. Uh, two of my very good friends have asked for tea blends and so today we'll be making uh, teas specifically for them. Um, the first one is going to be a kidney health and just generally immune, general immune booster um, with a fruity mint flavor. So these two teas differ, like one we're going to do heavy medicinal that may or may not taste very good and then we'll add some flavorings to it and then the other, the second tea we're going to do has lots of berries and things that 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 are naturally good tasting and then we'll add some uh, some other relaxing uh, medicinal herbs to that. So for the first one, for the kidney one, we're going to start off with dandelion root, lemon balm. This lemon balm is great for just about anything. I put it in everything from, from tea to pesto. Stinging nettle leaf, the same. I put it always in my pesto. Um, some ephedra, Mormon brigham, licorice root, huang bai, some dry tangerine, which is also really great for our hangover. Just, just saying. Plantain leaf, very awesome, awesome herb. Grows everywhere in your yard, even though you don't want it to. Um, same for dandelion. So, if you ever need, you know, herbal medicine and herbal remedies, just let your gar your yard grow out. Yarrow flower. Yarrow is is incredible. It it goes where you need it to do. You know, goes where you need it to. Does what you need it to do. Astragalus root, um, specifically for kidney, same with cassia. And then on the flavor side, because together, I mean, besides the tangerine and the lemon balm, nothing really tastes that great. So you're going to want to add, you're going to want to add flavoring, teas that flavor the whole thing. So I've chosen a jasmine rose, which is a jasmine tea with rose petals. It actually, to me, it tastes like fruity pebbles. I don't, I don't know why, but it's, it's very sweet and fruity. And then to complement that fruit, like you, you want a little bit of sweet in your tea. So the jasmine rose definitely hits that, but then to overpower all the medicinal herbs, you want like a strong, strong flavor. So we're going to go with a peppermint for this. So we've got peppermint, vervain, we want, you know, kind of a pepperminty, lemony uh, kind of flavor. Also lemongrass and ginger. Ginger is fantastic for just about anything as well. Um, so I put ginger in basically all my teas. So you kind of mix those together. Um, I generally do more of the flavoring. I'll do basically a little over a third of flavoring, uh, flavoring teas or flavoring um, components, and then the rest of it will be medicinal. So play around with that. If you need more sweet, you're going to want to add more like of the jasmine rose. If you want to add more peppermint, I'd say go with that and then you can also once you make the tea add fresh lemon to it which adds a bit of zing um, obviously to anything and then fresh honey to sweeten for our second tea which I call our berry blast tea because we do have this uh, a lot um, and you can use the berry the berry blast flavoring with just about any of your herb other herbal medicinal herbs. 
it just makes it taste really good and it's a huge immune boost um, immune booster so we've got dried blueberries dried elderberries uh, dried aronia berries aronia berries are huge immune boosters so they've got tons of antioxidants um, goji berries uh, cartagus fruit or hawthorn berries really good for your heart health rose hips also great for heart health and then um, then we've got our relaxers which are skullcap leaf and hop strobile and then lavender lavender is a great way to look, relax it's just a nice smell to have and then I have to add something super healthy this is my my own turmeric ginger and lemongrass blend which turmeric is great for everything this blend happens to be for joint health um, so it's great if you're using it after a hard workout or a hard day out in the field or um, just any time any morning it's great to have that you know relaxer for your muscles and joints and then then as our base for that I have a peach and apricot infused uh, it's a black tea so I'll use a little bit less of it because it does have caffeine in it um, so it might be this this mix would be about one-third of the base and then two-thirds full two-thirds of the rest of the components um, just because we don't want to have too much caffeine when we're trying to relax obviously um, I would sometimes add valerian root to a, rela uh, a relaxing mix, but valerian root, I don't know, it just, it stinks and it doesn't taste good at all and unless you're doing like a mold, mold spi mulling spices or something really rich, like if you did a coffee with cassia seeds and valerian root or something like that, um, you know, or, a, you know, chicory or chicory and valerian root kind of coffee type of thing. There's no way to cover up that taste and that smell. So what I do um, to use valerian root, I'll, I'll make it in a tincture. I'll put valerian root and this one is in vodka. Um, sometimes I'll do a whiskey or something like that, something you know, powerful or a, a scotch that has that, that peatiness to compete with what's in the valerian root. It's just gross. And then you take a, you know, a couple droplets of that to fall asleep. But all in all, I'm gonna start mixing and I'll let you guys go. If you have any questions about anything, put it in the comments and uh, just CYA, this is not, FDA approved, but everything is pretty safe <laughs> in moderation, obviously. All right. See you guys. Have a good one. I know we need bloopers at the end of every episode. There I should already be have bloopers. two ready. Okay, good. Oh, no. <laughs> Go, bro. Stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. No, it didn't, still didn't do it. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.